Hello everybody, welcome back to the Super Shotgun Only One. Last time we left off and Pastor had a bit of a bad time. So, as he said in the comments, he said he'd probably do better off in the middle. So let's find out. And I think I'm going to just keep switching out the leader every turn. I mean, every time we come back. But either way, today we have the Geneva Convention to tackle. So this is... This is, to me, a unique type of mission, because the enemy do spawn in buildings, but they're not in offensive buildings. This is the only time I can really think of where they spawn in offensive, in non-offensive buildings. Besides the hero in mission 20... I forgot the number. Assassination, though. That's the name of it. Because most of the time, they spawn in artillery or pillboxes. But this is one of few missions where they spawn in... This is actually one of the few missions that actually has a medic tent. Uh, not very useful building, in my opinion. And I'm kind of staying here between the tree, because I kind of hope that if they do aim at him, he's not going to go flying within a minefield. And I just also thought about the water. So let's back up a little bit, and let's give this a nice check. And because there are buildings, we are allowed to use shrapnel grenades. And we are not on murder pigs, we are just doing team large, so they are still commandos. But hopefully he does what he normally does. And yes he is. But we have two medals to be collected in this mission. Now I hear, now I understand. If you played literally any other version of this game, except for the PC maybe. I don't know much about the PC version. But if you played any other console version of this game. The, the second metal on this mission is bugged. It will not. It will almost never spawn. However, I'm not playing. I'm not playing any other console version. This is probably the most finished console version. And I say that in because this mission was fixed. So let's kind of stand here. Just give this a small chuck and destroy that. Shoot quick, it's all those numbers. <laughs> now hold up a minute here. They didn't take any damage from that explosion. What? I have never seen that before, but they literally, like you saw it there, they take 20 damage from the explosion from the uh, medic from the medic tent. Neither one of them just got damage from that. What? I've never seen that happen before. I'm so confused. <laughs> I mean, we can still do this, but that sucks. We have to waste a turn on shooting these guys. <laughs> and we got the first metal coming. But that is so confusing that they're supposed to take 20 damage from the explosion. But as you saw there, neither one of them were damaged. So there's another small glitch. I don't know how that even happened. I'm, I'm confused. I'm, I have no idea what to say on that. Because that's just so strange. Like, really strange. I, yeah, I'm going to be befuddled about that this whole episode. But either way, we're going to continue to blow up that medic tents. Because that's the goal of the mission here. And we'll just kind of wall that down the hill here. Okay, he took damage from it. So what happened with those guys? I'm so confused. Yep, I expected that. Alright. 
Now we'll go blow up the other tent and get the other metal. Because <clears throat> like I said, it was fixed in this version of the game. And if you're curious what version, this is the North American PS3 release. Yeah, I know. A little strange, considering it wasn't that popular in America. But I was able to get a Wii release on the... It was counted as PlayStation Classic. So, yeah, I'll take it. It allows me to play the game on a console. And as you hear and see there, there's two medals. Don't know why. I don't know how it's bugged in the other versions. Like, why doesn't it... Has anyone ever actually figured that out? Figure that out? Like, what's missing in the code or whatever that it doesn't... That it doesn't work in the other versions. And that art. And that'll be some fall damage. Yeah, but let's go collect our shiny metals. And then we'll take care of this guy over here, and then we'll probably shoot the other guy out of the map, most likely, if he stays. But, yeah, I'm, there's a couple things that have confused me. Well, only one thing that's confused me so far in this mission, but... This might be confusing a lot of people, just because there's actually two medals. But, yeah. They fixed it in this version. I don't even think they fixed it in the Steam version, honestly. I don't, I don't have any confirmation on that, but I'm just kind of assuming. Because the Steve version is a little bit of a lazy port. But there we go. And I know I just used a uh, shrapnel grenade, I'm sorry. But I think we can look past that and say that we still would have killed him with just the way your super shotgun as well. I wasn't thinking about it there for a second. But we'll, can, we'll finish this fight right now. Yeah, I'm sorry about using the shrapnel grenade there. I, I, I said I was going to use the super shotgun and I just forgot for a second, so I'm sorry about that. But hopefully we'll be able to push this guy on right on out. Yeah, that works. And we got all four medals. Again, you might be confused, but yep, it's fixed in this version. So all, you, this mission is obtainable for four medals. Kind of strange to say that, but yeah. It works out for me. But now we're running on to mission 18. I do not like this mission as well. <laughs> But, let's go ahead and start it up. Because mission 18 is more of an annoying mission. Just because it's spies. Well, I'll, I'll, if you didn't know, it's they're all enemy spies. It's called Spying Game. So. But it's annoying, especially since we're using the super shotgun only. Because it cannot shoot through hide to save its life. So we have to keep them from hiding in order to get them to get damage. And the other problem with that is they are starting in hides, so there's not much we can do about that. Oh yeah. I always see that symbol here. I always forget to mention it though. But let's go ahead and just kinda Should be that tree. If I'm shooting the wrong tree we'll know. See, one damage. I know if we were aiming at him, it probably would have bounced off, it, if I'm being entirely honest. But yeah, this mission's gonna take a lot of time just because we actually have to, to make sure that we're either taking out a building, or, no, don't, ah. Oh. Well, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to walk up here, but I thought I could walk against the wall. That's what you get for not testing things. And hopefully that works. Yeah. No. If he would have gone left, it would have worked. But he's going to walk right back here and we're going to have to shoot him again. Oh well. 
Hopefully he stays out of the side so I can take him next. Because we want to get the guys on the outside first, pretty much. And keep in mind, they are dangerous. They are spies. They have TNT. They have sniper rifles. So now we'll get... This mission is probably one of the most difficult ones because TNT and spies. And sniper rifles. And poison gas. And I did not mean to collect that health kit. I'm so ticked at that. <laughs> I don't poison anyone else. Alright. Now we'll go back up there and we'll shoot him back up. We want to take care of him before he gets to turn, Larry. Because when he gets to turn, he'll probably grab that whole gate right in front of him. So hopefully that'll work. Even though the gun's clearly over his head. We almost shot a butterfly. Alright. He'll probably throw an impossible shot with the poison gas grenade because typically that's what they, this guy does. I never see him take a sniper shot. Because typically I don't leave anyone in his sights. Which is generally a good idea for this level. Stay out of their sight. Do not get close enough for them to see you with a sniper. So, this mission really benefits um, bazookas and mortars. Because you can stay out of sight. But if you're bad with them like me, you pretty much still get right in their face and don't worry about it. Nice. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever seen that happen. That's awesome. That's one of those things I really enjoy about this game is that you can play through it a hundred times, but you can almost you can see a new result almost almost every single time you play it. And sorry, I'm choking on everything possible. And I have no idea if this is gonna work, but we're gonna try it. Just barely, but I'll take it. Now this is probably the next guy we want to take care of. Yeah, that's what I expected. So finish drive fuel, grab the HP. I know we have a poison pig, but he's the one that grabbed the HP. Just don't want anyone else get poisoned. Alright, cool. And we said we were going to be going for the medals, so we're going to get this medal as well. And honestly, probably not going to be able to attack this turn because we're not going to get close enough to either one of them. Eh, yeah, maybe him. Because he's in, he's in pretty good shot. I'm placed. To be shot right out. I don't want close enough. But he's just gonna keep fighting, which is completely fine. Yeah, and I'm just gonna go up here anyways because Yeah. Speed up a tiny bit maybe. Because we were in the corner, so I don't know. Like I said, you can do a million different things on every turn in this game. There's so many different ways to play this game that that's why I think that's so fun. And that should be him down. I thought even though I shot him so high, he was still grazing the ground for over half of that. Ah, and then it is, what's your name? Later hose. Well, there's not really much we can do to them right now. Because he hit. So. Honestly, we're just gonna run on over here and try and grab the health kit, maybe. We'll get close to it, at least. I know this ain't gonna reach, but why not? We don't want to go much further. I think we hit the other tree. 
No, he's just gonna continue to hide. That is perfectly fine with me. Alright, and honestly, not gonna take a turn this time. Why? Because we don't want to get up right next to him. Because we don't want to have a TNT in our face. But hopefully we can distract him from hiding again. Oh, yeah. Because he can see... I them What's his name? Sight. Who is that? Shoddy. Oh. I already missed. Weird. <laughs> it's really strange to see them miss sniper rifle shots. Even on normal mode. The sniper rifle is such a precise weapon in the final version. Although apparently in the earlier version, the gun was a piece of crap. It looks like. Oh no, I'm glad we have the sniper rifle we do today, but at the same time, would like to see a bit more variety. Because once you get heroes, it's pretty much only sniper rifle. And I just completely screwed up that shot. <laughs> that was horrible. Well, if we excuse my poor playing, which I don't blame you if you don't, <laughs> I had two more seconds. I could have lined the shot up so much better. But I tried to stay in that little cove there so he couldn't snipe us, even if he got up on a hill. But this time, we will shoot him. Probably not take him out of the map, though, because it's actually had a long distance to get him out of the map from where he is now. And we're not going to bother picking up the cluster grenades because as long as we get him down, we're not going to have to worry about it. Right. And hopefully the other guy just keeps on hiding. And he landed on the hill. Alright. And it'll probably be two more turns before he's taken care of because he's probably gonna TNT past us. Just thought about that. At least he wants to stay in this corner. Oh, don't go on there, buddy. Oh, that works too, I guess. Alright, it's gonna hurt still. But, we can fight that. And Super TNT should be coming in right now. That was a complete guess. <laughs> Alright, let's hope we take care of this guy. And then we'll send someone over to grab that suit TNT. Because we want to keep... We, I said we were going to try and collect all the medals. And as long as we have the chance to, we are going to grab the medals. Alright, hopefully this will knock him out of the map. He was probably the best one out of the map. He barely touched the ground. Alright, hopefully you... Yeah, that, there we go. That's what I was wanting. I want them. You just gotta give me some time. Alright, we're gonna grab this health kit. Then we're going to probably run away. So we don't get attacked. Because we don't want to. Because he's hiding. We don't really want to initiate him. So actually no. Let's just go down this hill. We. Ah, I tried to see if I could skip my turn. And that's completely fine. That's what we want him to do. Alright, and past this we'll grab the Super TNT, and we're pretty much going to waste an entire round of turns here to try and get the medals. Because we're not going to make it back in one turn. I don't even think the hero can make it back in one turn. I don't know, I haven't, I haven't gotten this far in the testing yet. I'm working on it though, don't worry. Alright, let's put you behind the hill here, so... Hopefully he won't attack you. Alright, come on, man. Yeah, this is going to be the boring part, because, like I said, we're trying to get the medals, so... 
It's gonna take our time here. Don't grab that yet. Okay, and don't start trying to attack us. Alright. Alright. Izzy, let's get out of here. Although I like how you said you're doing a man's job, even though what technically, depending on how you put it, technically playing is the only female named Pig, at least in this game. My hope is that this goes over. If I don't, oh, we're gonna blow ourselves up. <laughs> I wanna see if I can destroy the door before Impasser gets back, because I don't. Because I have bad luck with this super team thing, and that it has a tendency to just. Completely mess up and not destroy the whole thing. I would really find it a bit annoying how the enemy knows like every exact spot they can stand on and can't. Okay, hopefully we can get at least two out of here before they die. Because we don't want to lose any pigs. Don't want to lose them again. So we're gonna. I don't have to move you in, Larry. Just want to chuck this from afar. Trying to get the door off, at least. Yeah, that'll work. Now we'll get everyone out, everyone out of his sights, hopefully. Because he's going to take another shot. Almost gave him to him. Yeah, didn't even have to move. Alright, hopefully if Shotty's turned, we can get him out of there. Shawty's probably not going to do much else in this fight because he's a little low to do anything. Shut up, Captain. We're trying. If I weren't trying, would I be talking to you right now? No, I'd be done with the mission. Alright, well, let's just get you back here because I don't want to risk you dying. So let's literally put you behind everything. Alright. Now hopefully we can get him past her back, and then we can grab the medals, then we can finish this guy. Or, start to attack this guy. Oh, good save this turn. Alright, let's we'll try and do something, I guess. <laughs> Hmm, should be in past this turn next, and hopefully he'll just die again. Look at that 2 detail. <laughs> I know they had limited resources and such when they were making this game, but man, the 2 detail is just the tip of the iceberg. But either way, we're gonna finally blow up this and get our medals, and then we will try to kill him. And uh what are we fashion? Yes. Alright, let's place a big explosive here. One eye out over here. And jump, because why not? And hopefully. Yes, okay. I have bad luck with that Super Team in that it doesn't always destroy these. So now we have to wait for Schneetzel to hide again as the game slows down when he goes out of hiding animation. And we'll grab these medals. And we're gonna go over here. But we're probably not gonna attack them this turn. We just wanna get close. Closer. So hopefully Izzy's in a good spot there. And he won't attack. Ah, yeah, that's good. Hopefully with you, we're gonna I wanna start actually no, we probably wanna wait until after Um Shy's turn because uh, I'm not gonna move him. So hopefully he continues to skip this game. Because we don't wanna risk another person dying, so I'm actually gonna take care of my pigs. And if you think I'm playing like a a little too safe right now, you wait until you see mission twenty one. And then you'll see how how safe we have to play in the later game. 
Alright. Now we want to start making more of an advanced one. Because now we know we have a couple turns to Shoddy. Because I didn't want to be stuck. You know, I attack him and then be stuck there for a couple turns without anyone else to back him up. So we're going to pretty much sit in the same spot. And hope that I just continue to skip and go. Ain't that look? Alright, how much help do you have? 80. Okay, so you probably don't want to attack Nita at the moment. But we are getting closer to it. So for now, let's put you on about here. Yeah, if he does attack, hopefully I'll shoot the tree. Although I do notice that he is slowly but ever so surely sliding down that hill. And I'm kind of want- I'm- Ooh, if he's going over here, that's good. Because we could kill him from here if he wants to stay. Or not. Oh, he's gonna be a jerk. He's probably gonna hide too. Yeah, he is. Oh, damn, how much missile. Alright, let's run on over here and let's start attacking. Okay. Okay, game. Come on. Let me walk. <laughs> Some of those things you just can't walk on and it's so strange. Alright, but we're just gonna straight up attack here because we don't wanna hopefully he won't move. Yeah, they just bounce off like that. I've never gotten more than one damage. Yeah, there we go. We should be able to take him out next turn. Hopefully, at least. Alright. Hopefully, with this last super shotgun blast, we will finish this mission. And just in case we don't, we will go ahead and take this out. So he can't have it. But yeah, if you think I'm playing safe here, wait until mission 20. You will see the definition of safe for him. Alright, I didn't go that high of an angle because I know he's going to hit this wall, period. So I just wanted to use the hill to our advantage. And with that, we have completed mission 17 and 18 with all medals collected. Much better than last time. But either way, well, actually, we're not going to end it yet. We've got to look at the kill count. I don't know why I always say that, but... I don't know. Just curious. And I always forget because we're playing on Marty Pig. I mean, not Marty Pig's team lard. It skips the newspaper because they don't have one, apparently. Or something like that. But either way, we're going to look at the kill count here. And... Alright, we have Shoddy. 18 missions. 20 kills. Oh, wow. We were doing well that shot. Shaded, 17 missions, 9 kills. Getting a little bit better, but still not great. And faster, 17 missions, 14. He's getting better as well. Izzy, 18 with 15 kills. And Finstripe, 18 missions with 15 kills. Alright, not bad, not bad. And when we come back next time, it is going to be Chemical for Compound. And this mission is more or less annoying than anything. It's not even that difficult, it's just annoying to get shots. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you have a good day, and I'll see you later. I always mess up my outro. <laughs>